Alright guys, so I'm in my BMW E92 here. It is a 3 Series in case you don't know what that is. Um, our headliner is looking a little rough. This car is about 10 years old. Um, and you can see there's a lot of paint. The sunroof actually peeled off. Uh, that's what all that is. It's kind of old adhesive. Uh, I got paint everywhere here. That was a uh, epic fight with an ex-girlfriend. Happened many years ago. Um, so we're going to redo this. And we're going to spray the whole thing black here with this vinyl and fabric specialty coating by Dupi Color. I'm going to be taking everything out. I'm going to be taking the handles out, these, spraying everything, the pillars, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's going to be very similar to any car. I'm just doing this here on my BMW. But like I said, it's going to be very similar to any car, removal of everything. So let's get started. <laughs> So I removed the visors, I removed the handles here, the pillar is popped out here, this pillar is all the way out, on both sides obviously. We removed this here, the little light console in the back, and removed that little plate there. Also, these back pillars here, there's just a screw that goes right inside of these guys, a little airbag sticker, and then the screw goes in there. So, now I'm getting ready to wrap everything up, and then we'll be back. Alright, so we got everything wrapped up and ready to spray now. So with any kind of spray paint job, the first thing you want to do is a real light misty coat. You don't want to start caking it on with the first coat here. All right, guys, so we got the first coat on here. Um, I would honestly wear a mask with this. If you see my other videos, you probably see I don't usually wear a mask when I spray paint, but this stuff is nasty. All right, so we're one can down here. Um, we got pretty much almost the whole second coat. It's getting dark outside, so the camera looks kind of funny. Uh, we just almost finished the second coat right here, still the first coat. So probably two cans, three cans tops. Uh, I mean, if you got a big SUV, I'd probably definitely recommend three. All right, so third coat is done. I'm actually going to put a fourth coat on it. I just ran out of the second can, so I'm going to go grab a third here. Also, we need to do the uh, visors, the pillars, all that good stuff as well. So um, definitely three cans minimum. Uh, it's not too bad. It's about eight bucks a can. I'm going to link it in the description on Amazon here. Uh, but it's coming out pretty nice. The camera makes it look a little more blotchy, but in person, it's a lot more uniform uh, just because it's getting dark. So... We're going to do one more light coat here on this and we'll be done. And then we're going to start here on the other stuff. So we got a solid 18 hours of dry time, so let's step into my office here and see what it's looking like. 
And to be honest with you, I am pretty happy. Now you might see a little spot like there. Uh, that's where that brown paint was that was splattered everywhere. There's nothing we can really do about that. Um, but I mean, it's looking good. I'm I'm pretty happy with. It. So let me throw up all the visors, all the handles, all that stuff, and I'm gonna give you guys a uh, complete look on the finished product here. Before I show you guys the final result, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And let's take one more look on what it looked like before we painted it. All right, and here's the finished product. Everything came out beautifully. Um, the camera is kind of looking a little fuzzy just because it's trying to pick up extra light. My car is very dark because I have dark tint all the way around. I have 15% even on the windshield as well. Um, but it looks really nice in person. It's a beautiful uniform flat black. It almost looks kind of lighter here on the camera. Uh, but everything came out awesome. I'm really happy with it. Uh, all this trim here as well, I would probably recommend putting a primer on it. I never touch this. I never touch these. I never touch any of this stuff really. I don't even mess with the sunroof. If you do kind of mess with that stuff, I'd probably recommend putting a primer on everything first. Uh, just so it doesn't peel off. It'll make it a lot more durable, but I decided to skip that step because I don't mess with any of this stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. You'd have to see it in person to really appreciate it. So um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to have a lot of repair stuff here coming up soon on BMWs. We have a Honda. We have a Toyota Corolla we're working on. Uh, we have a lot of awesome DIY, super detailed. My goal with this channel, as you guys know if you've been watching, is to make the most detailed DIY videos out there. So thanks for watching and have a good one.